Oh, who say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home? To celebrate a nation that was Skyler Cole with tonight's national anthem performance. It's time for the NBA, live on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony as well as Brent Berry. And we'll be catching up a bit from the sideline with David Aldridge. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Lou Dort. And maybe it's shocking, but maybe, yeah, maybe not too shocking, but the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. I'm sure it's something he's well aware of, and we'll see if that continues to be the case. Let's take a look at our starters for Sacramento. Herder and Barnes are your wingmen. Sabonis is the center with Murray next to him. And it's Fox in at the one. And for the Thunder, the post pair form will be Williams and Holmgren. Josh Giddy is out there with Gilgis Alexander, and it's Dort in at the three. Well, we know both these teams, Greg, are loaded on offense. You've been on some high-octane offenses yourself, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, I, my college team was stacked from an offensive standpoint and incredibly fun to play on a team like that. Cannot, though, forget about the defense. Hey, go, get on, go. Giddy against Herter. Oh, here's Giddy. He's guarded closely. And there's Gilgis Alexander. That's good on the assist from Giddy. A good poise there from the young Gilgis Alexander, not allowing himself to get rattled. Fox against Gilgis Alexander. To the inside. There's a bonus. And it's Shade Gilgis Alexander with the rebound. The pass to Holmgren. Giddy with it. And here is Dort. Back to Giddy. Just five to shoot. Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. Holmgren. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. Oh, good defense. Holmgren just too tall. And boy, is he skilled. Gilgis Alexander against Fox. The bonus is screen on Dort. Barnes down low. Defended by Dort. Three-pointer, Fox. A three-pointer is right on target. Well, a prerequisite now is for NBA players to shoot the three. Fox really working on improving in that area. Giddy the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Sabonis grabs the board. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Fox looking it over. Pass to Herter. Murray kicks to Barnes. Jacks up a three. And another three for Sacramento. 
Defense couldn't be any better. Harrison Barnes on that possession, getting it done. There are many noteworthy second-generation stars in the NBA right now, like DeMontis Sabonis. Yeah, unbelievable. Had a chance to play against his dad, who was a, a force to be reckoned with at the center position. But DeMontis has exceeded him in some ways, like multiple all-star selections. Kings have gone 2 or 3 here to start out the game. For 3, Murray. Basket is good. The assist from Barnes. Three points. Don't see many forwards with the catch and shoot ability that Murray has. Giddy the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Go, go, run here, run here. Inside, here's Holmgren. To end the run, and it's good on the way. Holmgren. Holmgren's got his second basket. And a better box out saves them two points there. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. And Here Fox gets it to go. You know, you're going to have success when you can start out shooting 80% from the game. So early offensively, they've been great. That's the way you like to start. Giddy finds Holmgren. Trains it from beyond the arm. Holmgren's got seven points in the game. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played. Fox against Gilgis Alexander. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First person to foul. And you look at the Thunder style of play, very fast pace. And because of that, they put up a lot of shots. Their goal really is to overwhelm you and wear you down. Of course, they allow plenty of shot attempts as well. That one is off. Even De'Aaron Fox has talked about how he's the fastest player in the league. The cool thing about it is night after night, he seems to prove it. And he can't hit the second. Boy, doesn't Mike Brown, uh, GA, deserve a lot of credit for the Kings' recent success. He's been terrific. I mean, bringing that championship pedigree from Golden State. Brown went to the finals as the head coach in Cleveland. And one of the best people in the league as well. He gets so quick there in transition. Does a good job of reading and a nice finish. Gilgis Alexander against Fox. Here's Williams. The shot's good. Gilgis Alexander making the play. Now what a great option he gives them on every possession. Outside, Sabonis. Shoots over Holmgren. And again, it's Sacramento converted. Sabonis working close in the basket. He likes those tight quarters. He's so skilled down there. Fox against Gilgis Alexander. Outside Williams. Pass to Giddy. Six to shoot. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Uses the glass to finish the way. And Giddy with a little giddy up on that pass. And so Fox will bring it up for Sacramento. Fresh from a win against the Nuggets. I thought they had a solid game plan coming into that one. And then they made good adjustments along the way. And the great thing about watching that game was that we saw it through their offense. And they showed a few different looks that they settled into and played well. Here's Gilgis Alexander after the basket by De'Aaron Fox. And how can you not love the game of SGA? I mean, the young guard will continue to get better. Yeah, hey, Greg, all the reports you get out of OKC is that this kid is a worker, and he has turned himself into an all-star with that kind of work ethic. And he knocks down the first one. Great. Isn't it amazing the way Gilgis Alexander has polished off his game? The footwork, Kevin, is impeccable. Three-level score makes every shot imaginable. And what's scary, this guy still has another level to get to. And so he makes both from the line. 
With the majority of the season behind us, GA, what becomes the focus for teams that have postseason aspirations? Kevin, ideally, this is the time of year that you want to be hitting your stride. So you have to make sure everyone's on the same page and that you're united in the same goal. Wide open look here for Murray. That falls. Nice feed that time from Sabonis. Uh, not often we see Murray decide to pull up from there, but he has the touch. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Giddy. Holmgren against Sabonis. Now here's Holmgren. Defense is right there. Count it. Good. Gilgis Alexander's got eight points. You have a guard like Gilgis Alexander that fights inside. It can add some spunk to your team. Fox passes to Sabonis. Holmgren with the steal. His first shot coming late. Rebound by Murray. Sacramento's gone three of three from deep. Nine points rung up from outside here in the first. Herter kicks to Murray. Back to Herter. Fox, the bounce pass. For three, Murray. The Thunder pulled in. This game coming after a loss against the Jets. Poor execution in that one. Not sure what led to the lack of focus, but coaching staff definitely not happy. And, and they made some comments themselves that some of the fault might have lied with them because they didn't go in with the best of game plans and they didn't make the right adjustments. So we'll see tonight if they do. Now, here's Fox. After the miss from Chet Holmgren. Fox finds a bonus. The Thunder pull it in. Holmgren's got his fourth rebound in this one. Oklahoma City trailing. Gil just Alexander passes to Giddy. Here's Holmgren. He's coming off a 22-point game against Utah. I'm not sure in that game if it was him or Dikembe Mutombo out there, guys. I was just hoping to see one finger wave after one of those four blocks. No, no, no. Not today. Now here's Herter. Passes it to Sabonis. And the rejection by Holmgren. Long 7-1 with that 7-6 wingspan. Holmgren can alter a block just about every shot in his vicinity. Holmgren in the high post. Sabonis is there. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Gilgis Alexander against Fox. Sabonis sets the pick for Fox. Can they get it? And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Now that's good patience as Fox uses the pump fake and that throws the defender off balance. He's 0 of 2 at the line in this one. Fox taking two shots. Shooting two. First one falls for him. Some changes for Sacramento. Lyles checked in for Keegan Murray. Chris Duarte comes in for Harrison Barnes. And it's Malik Monk in for Kevin Herter. Fox hits them both. In regard to the Thunder, they had to go through, Greg, a rebuilding process not too long ago. Yeah, it was a tough now couple years, but they had a plan in place and did it the right way. They made some smart signings and created a very balanced roster. And first time out of the game called for Oklahoma City. Guys, for a measure of how he's performing offensively, look no further than the true shooting percentage. There's been a steady drop in his last five games, and he's got to be scrambling now to get that field back. And they pick up two. Gilgis Alexander's got 10 points in the game. There's a great pace to Gilgis Alexander's game. The mid-range fits well. Mitchell against Gilgis Alexander. Shot no good by Dwarchev. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. 
and that's going to be good nine out of ten times. So far, both teams scorching in hits. You gotta love it. Yeah, made for TV game here. Pace is great, scoring is coming in bunches, and both of the teams feeling confident right now. Come on, the Bears to Sabonis. Let's it go. And he can't bank that one in. Oklahoma City's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game to the left side wing. Here's Joe. Hunt defending. Joe passes to Gilgis Alexander. A miss that time would have put him up. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone is afforded an easy miss or two. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. Now, here's Mitchell. No scoring in this one. Just five on the clock. Monk's shot's good. How about the quickness of that release by Monk? Uh, an experienced catch-and-shoot player who feels comfortable firing from deep. Williams, a screen on Mitchell. Gilgis Alexander passes to Williams. Buries it down low. 137 left in the first quarter of the game. Outside, Sabonis. And slam dunk by Sabonis. And Sabonis getting his entire body up that time for the jam. Outside, Williams. Williams sends a screen for Williams. It's three-pointers off the mark. Kings leading now by three. Monk with the ball, and it's Wallace picking him up. Monk finds a bonus. Oklahoma City foul. Williams. And the foul so making a change here. Higgins is checked in. Then for the Kings, McGee comes in for Damani Sabonis. And De'Aaron Fox subbed in for Mitchell. Here's Duarte. Wallace covering. Duarte passes to McGee. And it's McGee with the jam. Not getting old here. Seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. Fox against Gilgis Alexander. Wallace with a screen on Fox. And Gilgis Alexander, here we go. That's another one for him, his fifth in just seven shots. Now it feels like the other four guys have disappeared at this point. He wants to be the one to get them back. Fox against Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander with the steal. Williams, a screen on Fox. And at the top of the key, Williams shoots over Fox. And there's Williams. That's good on the assist by Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got the assists now in this one. A big time effort for De'Aaron Fox, providing a lot of energy for Sacramento. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. Back right after this. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Kings. Well, they haven't wasted any time getting into a groove from deep, putting up and hitting a healthy amount of three-pointers thus far. Well, not only that, but you love how unselfish they've been to start this game. That's going to get all the guys in a great flow and feeling good. So moving that ball around and scoring off assists, it's a nice way to play. Williams is out there with Wiggins. Then there's Shane Gilgis-Alexander. 
Then there's Wallace, and it's Joe in at the shooting guard. That's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. Here's Gilgis Alexander after the basket by De'Aaron Fox. Shoots from the baseline. Count that one, and the Kings lead has been cut to just one in the basket from Gilgis Alexander. And we're all too familiar with these kind of outbursts from SGA. And here's Len. 11 points for him in that last game against Denver. Fox against Gilgis Alexander. Four on the shot clock. Fox, no good. And so it's Williams who brings it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Gilgis Alexander surveying the D. The three nailed from three-point land. Wallace has got five minutes. Gilgis Alexander's nothing if not a creator. Make that pass in his sleep. Okay, time now for an injury report. Let's get an update on Chet Holmgren. David, what's the status? Guys, I had a moment to catch up with the Thunder's head athletic trainer. He informed me that the knee was bent slightly backwards and is indeed hyperextended, but that there does not appear to be any structural damage. This injury could be devastating for them. This is a team that had title ropes, Kevin, and this is not what they need. Okay, Dave, thanks. Sounds like uh, he won't be out for too long. And let's head over Here's to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. After a fantastic first season under coach Mike Brown, the Kings are ready for bigger and better things in year two. Brown said, this is probably the first opportunity I've had that allows me to do what I feel was necessary to get the team headed in the right direction. There wasn't going to be much pushback because they were looking for somebody to give them guidance and direction. And he certainly embraced that responsibility, Kevin. I like that. Yeah, he has embraced it. Good stuff, David. Thank you for the report. Fox does a great job of sizing up the defense and then finding a hole so good at getting in there. Here's Joe. Punk defending. Wiggins left side. Wallace left side. Williams sends a screen for Wallace. The feed to Williams. High arcing shot. And that's two points on the layup. He's got six. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater. Boy, those sure are pretty. Now the pass to Fox. Kicks it to Monk. Miles is a screen for Monk. Off target from outside. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Pass to Williams. Dishes it to Wallace. It's a nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Lynn with the block. Well, putting the wingspan to great use, Lynn throws that one. Joe Good. As the game has gone along, they've gotten more and more aggressive on the back row. Williams against Lynn. Three-pointer, Fox. Count it, and he's now 8-9 of nine from the floor. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line, and I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Wallace misses. The Kings trail by three. Pass to Len. Pass to Orte. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye-opening. Gilgis Alexander against Fox. Right side, Gilgis Alexander shoots over Fox. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. Sacramento's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Talk about guys, Brandon, who can fill those gaps out on the floor. How about what a jam! Wow, fans loving that right there. What a jam! Nice. <laughs> and how much fun right now is the Aaron Fox having on the floor? All smiles. Nice angle on that replay with the AT&T 5G slam cam. The 
Thunder have gone six of ten from the floor here in the second quarter. Now a timeout time called by Oklahoma City. City. And Greg, when things go crazy, coaches are often the first to go. But how often does that improve things? Sometimes it goes the opposite direction, Kevin. But the simple fact is it's usually easier to change the coach than it is to turn over the rock. And the Kings will go for a different look here. Sabonis, he's checked in for Alex Lynn. Murray comes in for Trey Lyons. Barnes, he's checked in for Duarte. And Kevin Herter subbed in for Monk. Now here's Giddy. He has yet to score. Takes it inside. Count it. And the Thunder lead by one. Now he's got that 6'8 frame, but Giddy handles it like a guard. It makes it hard to stop Josh off the dribble. Here's Herter. Good, and it's Fox who picks up the assist. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. It reminds me of that cameo song, Back and Forth. Now here's Giddy. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11.5 points a game. Kings have gone 8 of 10 from the field here in the second quarter. You've got to like how they've shot the ball. Barnes passes to Sabonis. Outside for Murray. Another three for Sacramento. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Giddy against Herter. Tries the spin move. What a move. Terrific spin move there. Giddy's got four points this quarter. Defense not able to keep up as Giddy throws them off with that clever move. Fox passes to Herter. And Fox gets it to go. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Thunder trailing by four. Now, Gilgis Alexander. Last game he had 28 points. Here's Giddy. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Now, that first quarter was a bit shaky. You didn't see a player who doesn't let a slow start get to him. All right, you just don't see many point guards taller than 6'8", but Josh Giddy is one of them. And Josh does a great job, Greg, of using that size to his advantage. He gets into positions on the floor where he can see over the level of the defense and make some spectacular passes. Well, Giddy sees things before they happen, and so one of the things that he probably wrestles with is trying to do too much and overthink for his teammates, but there's no doubt his IQ is on display when he's on the floor. Murray sets a screen for Herbert. From outside the arc, and Holmgren pulls it down. Holmgren's got five rebounds tonight. Williams kicks to Dort. It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. He's just not allowing the close defender to get in his way as Dort plays intense there. Giddy against Fox. And again, it's Sacramento converting. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. you got to keep getting him touches. Time call here on the Thunder. Decide to talk it over. And here we are watching Jalen Williams. Brent, there's a certain calm to his game, isn't there? Yeah, he's comfortable because he really can do a lot of things on the floor, so there's nothing that's going to really shut him down. It's very hard to speed this guy up. It's an opportunity to play at his pace. That's a gift. Already it's February. Hard to believe. Let's see how the West is matching up. You look at the Thunder. Right now they've compiled the third best record in the conference. And, of course, Sacramento. A few slots below them. And checking out Sacramento, this hasn't been the breakout season that many were predicting, but they're still very much in the hunt for a high postseason seed, and that will keep them focused here during the season's final stages. Well, the goal is very defined. They have to have a strong finish to the season and make sure they get home court advantage for at least the first few rounds of the playoffs. Joe Good. Eight lead changes now, and we're still just in the first half. I'm not sure I've seen a game before he changes this early. Fox against Giddy. The pass to Sabonis. Pass to Herter. And a deep three from 
Murray. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Murray's got a couple of three-pointers in the second for Sacramento. Giddy the pass to Dort. Holmgren the screen. Pass to Joe. Six on the shot clock. From past the arc. It's rebounded by De'Aaron Fox. Sacramento's gotten half their shots from three-point range to go down in the second quarter. Three of six from downtown. There's a screen by Murray. Back to Fox. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on Dort. He just seemed to have a little more fire in the first quarter than he has in this one, and it's shown in all the trips he made to the free throw line. Those have dried up. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Gilgis Alexander's checked in for Oklahoma City. Fox hits them both. Here's Gilgis Alexander. 16 points for him. Williams, a screen on Fox. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. Yep, that one goes in there. Holmgren's got nine points. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Sacramento's gotten off 12 shots and beyond the arc tonight, hitting seven of them. Time out, it's called. First of the game for Sacramento. In. And a moment now to see some numbers for Gilgis Alexander. And tremendous confidence and consistency at the foul line. He ranks among the top 15 in free throw percentage. And as you said, number one in steals this season. He's the sneakiest ball hawk in the league right now. Hide everything you've got because <laughs> he's coming after you. Good determination as Sabonis worked his way through contact. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. 158 left in the second quarter. Basket number eight is all good. He has attempted 12 shots. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. Outside, Sabonis. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Sabonis really just is a, a big guy. He's a tough assignment, and he's going to play physical. For Sacramento, they have gone four of six so far from the line, missing a couple. Shoot two. That free throw, no good. Sabonis is a guy you have to watch closely in terms of how relentless he is. Trying to get in there, mix it up, play physical. He just never stops fighting. And he sinks the second. Giddy with it. Seven points in the game. Passes to Williams. 31 left in the first half of the game. Holmgren sets the screen for Williams. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. The Kings leading. There's the pass to Monk. Back to Barnes. Up and in on the way. Barnes has got five now. Using every bit of muscle he's got on that one. What can I say? Harrison Barnes likes to get in and attack. Here's Giddy. It's hauled in by the Kings. Sabonis has got rebound number seven for him tonight. And Holmgren pulls it down. 
Holmgren's got six rebounds in the game. Even if you're not shooting it, you like to see the effort level, and his tonight has been high. Sacramento's gotten half their shots from three-point range to go down to the second quarter. Three of six from downtown. Here's a bonus. The Thunder pull it in. Holmgren's got seven rebounds in the game. Uh, one player sometimes can drag down your offense, and he seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Monk against Gilgis Alexander. Monk, the pass to Sabonis. With one on the clock. No good on the last second attempt there. Gabe Gilgis Alexander, guys, has been on display for the Thunder. His production has been flowing as he's tallied 20 points and looks to be planning for more. Right back after this break. Welcome to halftime. First things first, a look ahead at other games on the docket tonight. It'll be the Magic out at Amway Center against the Bulls. That one gets going at 7 p.m. Eastern. I prefer an even fight. Should be a good one. Let's switch back to the Sacramento Kings dealing with a thin margin at the half. Well, they're coming out firing from deep right now. The defense is spread thin. I'm talking me in 1992 thin. Now, to be fair, that Orlando jersey with the pinstripes, very slimming, big fella. Well, thank you. And that'll do it for halftime. We send you back to Kevin Harlan, who has the second half call. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. It's been one outstanding game from De'Aaron Fox. And guys, we saw just how tough he can be with the step to the rim. Great job of just attacking that first half. Yeah, nice job of carving his way to the inside with some ease. Not much resistance out there. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. On the court right now for the Kings. Fox in the backcourt with Herder to his side. Barnes is in the frontcourt along with Murray. And Sabonis in at the center position. Defense is always going to have trouble with Sabonis inside. He just forces mistakes. This is his second trip to the free throw line. Good, Sabonis. He hits one and misses one, each at the line. Big trip to the line. He did not get all of them, but at least they hold the lead now. And while we've got him on, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thank you, Kevin. Josh Giddy is very capable off the dribble and at 6'8", starting to use his size to finish. Thunder Coach Mark Dagnall said he's definitely a physical Before, he was just trying to shoot over people, but now he's taking his space, using his size and strength. He's getting a lot more around the basket. Kevin? Yeah, he is getting into him. D.A., thank you. Throw good, Fox. Fox 
Which hits them both. And so here is Oklahoma City. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Williams has a screen for Gilgis Alexander. Feeds it to Williams. That one goes. Count it. And that's now six points for Williams. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. Outside, Fox. Five on the clock. Place jumper from the free throw line. Fox has got four points now in the quarter. Down the stretch, he's been flat out awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. Fox against Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren the pass to Williams. Now here's Giddy. He's tightly guarded. Over a minute and a half into the third quarter of action. Gilgis Alexander against Fox. Pass to Murray. Fires for three. It's rebounded by Giddy. And so it's Giddy with it. He brings it up for Oklahoma City. They trail by one. Williams looking over the floor. Pass to Holmgren. Gilgis Alexander against Fox. And that one's good. Gilgis Alexander. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. This is it to Sabonis. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Fox kicks to Sabonis. King's moving the ball around. From D. Perter. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Oh, and a fast break for Oklahoma City. Giddy finds Gilgis Alexander. Offline with the baseline jump. For Sacramento, they've gone one of three since starting the second half. From 12 feet out, and he gets the jumper to drop. Fox. Fox has got six points in the quarter. Well, so critical for Fox to get the attention of the defense in this way. He's got to make them fear him. Dort passes to Giddy. Holmgren with a screen on Herter. The feed now to Holmgren. And that comes off the assist by Giddy. Giddy's got six assists now in the game. Fox against Gilgis Alexander. And the pass to Sabonis. Team Sabonis. Fox from outside. A shot off that time. And that was almost a block. Still did enough to alter the shot. Yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss. That kind of energy not wasted. Looking to get it going. And it's Giddy laying it in. And now a three-point Thunder lead. That's impressive stuff from Giddy just getting on the interior part of the defense. up the alley -oop pass. Holmgren with the steal. Giddy the pass to Williams. Lays it up off the glass. Williams has got eight points. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Outside, Sabonis. There's the dish to Fox. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It seems like every shot these guys have been putting up has been going in. This month's top shooter in the third spot, Damanis Sabonis. It would be hard to imagine him shooting the ball much better than he has. He has been on fire. Throw good, Fox. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. Fox 
hits them both. Oklahoma City leading by three. Williams a screen. To the paint. Pass to Giddy. Holmgren in the high post. Outside Williams. He feeds it to Holmgren. Nice D from Sabonis. The Kings trail by three. Murray kicks to Fox. Good D by Gildas Alexander. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight, try to avoid the and one, and this time they're not backing off. Now here's Gildas Alexander. He's got 22. Count that bucket. Nice. They continue to attack inside, and that's 10 points in a row in the paint. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. And he's in the top 10 in field goal percentage. Really able to power his way to the bucket and finish through contact. And just going back real quick to the fact that he's tops in the league in rebounds. What a tremendous feat. What a monster he is in the paint. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? And after a rocky start to his career, it, it's safe to say that Malik Monk has found his footing in the league. And he's gotten some opportunities, Greg. And the fact is, this guy might be one of the more impactful bench scorers we have in the NBA. A spark plug, and he's trying to continue to expand this game. But man, in transition, this guy is tremendous. Well, he's a guy that count on to produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. Pass to Sabonis. Back to Monk. Outside, Fox. And they're unable to get the time basket there. Yeah, the defense there in chill mode. We all know he can burn them from three-point range. Here's Williams. That's another one for him. His fifth in just seven shots. Just a late reaction there from the defense, and he is always going to finish that one. Up top, Sabonis. Passes it to Herter. The pass to Monk. Sabonis a screen on Giddy. The shot by Monk is no good. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Williams, that's good. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Now, here's Fox. He has 38 in the game. That's to Monk. A three ball. Good and a nice Ali assist Monk. from Fox. Three points. Fox has got three assists now in this one. And more and more improved floor awareness for De'Aaron Fox. Here's Gilgis Alexander. 24 points for him. That's to Holmgren. There's the triple. That one falls through. It's his sixth make from the floor this game. Now six for ten. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitor. They're both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. And there's the call on Lou Dort. That'll be his second foul of the game. Personal foul. The Thunder making a switch here. Joe's checked in. Coming on to the floor for your Thunder, number 11, Isaiah Joe. On defense, the Thunder. Seven-point game, the biggest lead in the game. Passes to Monk. Shot clock at six. The Kings need to get off a shot here. And Fox gets it to go. Yeah, you would think a coach might have talked to his defense about making the adjustment on him, but right now, he's just lighting him up. Holmgren sets the screen for Giddy. And there's the pass to Holmgren. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Monk, the best to Fox. And it's Fox 
with the jam. And De'Aaron Fox having one of those nights where he's feeling it. And so it's Giddy with it. He brings it up for Oklahoma City. A two-point game. And it goes down Holmgren. two points. Holmgren's got 16 points. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. First personal foul. And despite the size and disadvantage, attacking the heart Shooting of that defense. Down. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes and even the taller the defenders are helpless to stop him. Catching up on the changes for Oklahoma City. Williams, he's checked in for Williams. Wiggins comes in for George. And Wallace subbed in for Josh Giddy. Then for the Kings, Trey Lyles checked in for Keegan Murray. And Chris Duarte subbed in for Kevin Herter. Oklahoma City's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Wallace against Monk. Pass to Holmgren. No good from outside. Kings have gone 7 of 13 in the third quarter so far. Just above 50%. Duarte passes to Fox. Here's Duarte. Screen by Sabonis. Bucket six. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Assisted. Ten points for Sabonis. Sabonis just rolling right into that perfect pocket position off the pick and roll. Monk against Wallace. Here's Joe. Two minutes he has six. Down low. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That one on Monk. At the line. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for Sacramento. I mean, they've been stepping it up in terms of their shooting from distance. And the confidence has been there all game long, leaving the defense to scramble. And throughout the game, the mid-range area has been their bread and butter, continuing to pull up from there with a tremendous amount of confidence. Gilgis Alexander's checked in for Williams. He doesn't get the second one. And shaking his head moment there. Had a chance to put them out in front. But at least they're tied up. Now, here's Monk. Defense right on him. No good on the three. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Pass to Holmgren. Here's Joe. Monk defending. Joe can't get it to go. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. And look now at the Thunder's upcoming schedule. On Saturday, they'll be facing Kyrie Irving and the Dallas Mavericks. Then on Sunday, they'll tip off a homestand starting with the Sacramento Kings. And for their matchup with the Magic, I think it's going to be an interesting challenge even though they expect to come out on top, this could probably be a pick'em game, depending on how they play. Williams, he's checked in for the Thunder. Fox hits them both. Yeah, and their free throw shooting has really improved here in the second half. Here's Joe, guarded by Fox. For three, Holmgren. That's a basket. His eighth from the field, 8 of 14. Well, the D has done a very poor job at contesting him from outside, guys. He's tearing into them right now, and they cannot stop him. Sabonis sets the pick for Fox. Up top, Sabonis. He's guarded by Williams. Back to Fox. From deep. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Here's Holmgren. 
The shot's good. Holmgren. Now it's a three-point Thunder lead. This quarter belongs to him, and that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe. Keep that momentum going. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Sabonis sets the pick for Monk to the middle. Tim slam dunk by Sabonis. And how about Monk there scanning the floor for the open teammate? That's how you develop a trust from your teammate. Holmgren against Wyatt. Puts up a deep three. That shot off. We're at the end of the third, and we still got a close one. Thunder lead by one. And for 2K Sports, we'll be back here at Paycom Center right after this. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and, and what a beautiful feat. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. We start the fourth quarter, what is still anybody's ballgame. They've got Wiggins. So Williams out there. Wallace is out there with Gilgis Alexander. And it's Joe in at the two guard. That's the lineup out there for the Thunder. Wiggins finds Gilgis Alexander. Count the basket. Gilgis Alexander's got 26 points. Gilgis Alexander comes at you in a lot of ways. There's floaters and pull-ups and drives. Pretty gifted offensive player. Miles a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Passes it to Lyles. Back to Fox. Fox is double. Monk, no one around him, drills the three-pointer. Monk's got it all tied up now for the Kings. And Monk has proven that he is a terrific scorer from the perimeter. When he's in rhythm, he has no problem letting it fly. Big hops from the backcourt. Oh, absolutely. And maybe just what they need to get this game GA going in their direction. Defense has got to be better. Flat out effort was not there. Now, Gilgis Alexander following De'Aaron Fox's three-point attempt. Kicks it out to Wiggins. A baseline J. Cuts off the pass. Gilgis Alexander with the back steal. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. Yeah, first turnover of the game. Overall, though, he has been rock solid. JaVale McGee's checked in for the Kings. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. There's the lob to the hoop. Stolen away. Here's Joe. Now here's Wallace. It's a nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Gilgis Alexander, such growth in his first year, continues to show he's learning this game. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for Oklahoma City. I'm in love with how they're moving the basketball all game long. Take and break. also Take their break. ability to move Two without seven. the ball. That style just makes it so difficult to defend. Well, we've also seen them being very aggressive down in the paint. All game long, they've been hunting down those inside points. Rebound. 
Good on both. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Now the pass to McGee. Shooting for Sacramento. JaVale McGee. Two shots. That's good from McGee. And this is one of the things they need to keep doing in the second half to get this win. Keep knocking down those free throws. They've been sensational here at the line. That one misses, so he goes one for two. The Thunder leading by three. Here's Joe. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Puts the move on. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. No shake Gilgis Alexander has so many of the qualities that you want in a leader. Fights. He's energetic. He's a team first guy. He just looks for ways to get his guys fired up. The first one falls, and Oklahoma City making a change here. Williams is checked in, and the Kings also making a change. Herder's checked in. And so he hits both. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Williams against McGee. He kicks it to Fox. Let's the three fly. Sacramento again missing. It's been a struggle all night long from deep, but doesn't seem like he's lost his confidence. He's still letting them rip. Here's Williams. Good. Nice job down low. Are we sure that's the same player, guys? He looks completely different. What confidence he's playing with. And look how engaged he is on both ends. Timeout called by the Kings. Are you down, you Right now, I'll send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Hey, thanks, guys. Was able to hear Mark Brown during the break. He said they've played well in certain areas, but the lack of detail to the defensive boards has allowed their opponent too many second-chance opportunities. And that, he said, is the difference in this game. You have to get busy on the glass, Kevin. Okay, David, thanks. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. It's hauled in by Lyles. Lyles got four rebounds now tonight. Down low. Good, and it's Fox who picks up the assist. Now just a two-point Oklahoma City lead. Right, that's an excellent play call to free him up from the defense. Well, taking advantage of that opportunity, it does not get any more high percentage than that one. Now here's Williams. Shoots over Herder. Shots good by Williams. Williams has got 12 points in just the second half. Not sure which clips they watched at halftime, but he has figured out how to attack the D, and they kept him in check in the first half. He's flipped it. Here's Lyles. From outside, off the mark. Gilgis Alexander against Fox. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. He's guarded close. Five to shoot. Fox with a steal. This is the challenge Fox poses for defense and sometimes is forced to foul. His fifth personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Kings, De'Aaron Fox. 
Taking two shots. And he can't get the first one. And the Thunder with some changes. Holmgren, he's checked in for Williams. Dort comes in for Wiggins. And Josh Giddey's subbed in for Wallace. And the second free throw, good. And here is Giddy. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Over Fox. And Gilgis Alexander the bucket on the assist from Giddy. Gilgis Alexander's got 10 points in the quarter. Fox against Gilgis Alexander. Fox goes in over Williams. And with that, the Thunder lead is cut back down to three points with the bucket from Fox. Just Fox being impossible to contain right there on the drive. Here's Dort. And it's off the back rim. No good. Sacramento's gone two or five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Monk kicks to Fox. Fox is double. To tie it up. Drills it from outside. For three. Vazenkov's got the game tied up here for the King. For Oklahoma City. So many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. And I don't know how they keep doing this, but every time down, the resulting possession ends up at the three-point line in a fairly efficient shot attempt at that. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Joe's checked in. Now, Giddy. From 11 feet away. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to go on to Aaron Fox. Yeah, the defense getting up close. I feel like Giddy was just setting the guy up. Josh Giddy! Shooting two. And the first one drops. And both free throws, good for Giddy. For Sacramento, they've gone five of eight shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. Sabonis feeling it out a bit. It's Fox with the drive. Good, and it's Sabonis with the assist that time. And all quarter long, he's been zeroed in and, and knocks down big shot after big shot here in the fourth. Joe passes to Holmgren. That one goes in. Holmgren's got 23. And, and playing up tempo, pro-level ball can be hard for some guys, but Holmgren has easily made the transition. Outside, Sabonis. He dishes it to Fox. That one, no good. Excellent D there from Williams. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. The Kings trailing. The wide open look here for Fox. Again, what here an avalanche. And what a night, arguably the best in franchise history. Tying the franchise mark for most points in a game. The next basket breaks it. Williams, a screen on Fox. Elbow shot. It's rebounded by Herter. Sacramento's gone 4-7 with the long ball here in the fourth quarter. From 15 feet away. And another one falls. And never in the history of the franchise have we seen a game like this. He's putting on a remarkable performance. It's their all-time single game scoring record. Their fans will be reliving this game for a long, long time. Getting hard to corral at his size. For Sacramento, they've gotten exactly two-thirds of their shots to find the bottom of the net here in the fourth, 8 of 12. Sabonis finds Fox. 
That ball yeah. nice yeah. feed that time from Sabonis. Yes, Sabonis has got five assists in the game. Passes it to Holmgren. Doubled by Sabonis. Get the shot. Holmgren gets the bucket. Holmgren. Holmgren's got 16 here in the second half. Guys, this is what you call a generational talent. Holmgren is bound to fill up the highlight reel every night he plays. Sabonis against Holmgren. Now here's Murray. Not a lot of room. Clock at four. Bunk for three. Another three for Elite Sacramento. Ball. And certainly, they are not hesitating. Letting it fly from deep here in the second half. Williams with the ball. Holmgren the screen. Williams inside. Murray on him. Williams shot is off. Kings leading now by four. Outside, Fox. Over Giddy. The Thunder pull it in. Williams has got four rebounds now tonight. Dort is screen on Fox. Williams passes to Dort. And he makes good on the layup. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Timeout called by the Kings. Gilgis Alexander checked in for the Thunder. Barnes is checked in for the Kings. And so Fox will bring it up for the Kings. The lead is two. Over to the wing. There's the pass to Monk. Back to Sabonis. Outside for Murray. Barnes outside. Pass to Sabonis. Shot clock at five. Monk for three. Good, and it's Sabonis with the assist that time. Monk's got the lead up to five now for Sacramento. Gilgis Alexander against Fox. Unloads from nine. And that one's good. Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got 16 points here in the second half. Pass to Sabonis. Kicks it to Fox. Three-pointer. And Holmgren pulls it down. Holmgren's got 11 rebounds in the game. Giddy the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren with a screen on Fox. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And Gilgis Alexander throws it down. And SGA is used to burying these kind of big-time shots. Just an outstanding leader for this team. Fox against Gilgis Alexander. Puts it up from 15. Sabonis in slammed up by Sabonis. And Sabonis showing no fear coming through big time there. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Giddy, no one around him. Oh, what a huge basket to tie the game. No nerves from Josh Giddy that time. 59 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Murray, a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Murray outside. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. Dort kicks to Giddy. Holmgren the screen. To take the lead. Giddy, no good. What is on the line here? Crowd is so focused. Pass to Sabonis. Murray for three. Laces one from three. Remember that one. Guys, a difference maker. I'm wondering, is that the biggest shot of the game? Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. They're behind by three. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? And if you can get a three, shoot it. Otherwise, get the quick two and a foul. Don't force something up. you got to be smart here. Sacramento making 
going to switch here. Herders check in. And for the Kings, number nine, Kevin Herder. Here's Giddy. KC fans, we need 22. Got it. And that shot brings them to within just one. And how about Giddy just saying, I got you guys. Get on my back. That's a foul. Wonderful. Called on Shea Gilgis Alexander. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Yeah, and, and luckily, they, they've got terrific depth at that position. If there's one spot on the floor where they can afford to lose somebody, that would probably be it. And that's an intentional foul. And you know what? Smart foul. you got to try and extend the game. 14 foul. At the line for the Kings, Deere and Fox. Two shots. first and that will put them up by two. Now not shying away from the moment. It's De'Aaron Fox's time with a big opportunity to knock it down. And so both free throws are good. It's a four point game. That last one was a difference maker. It pushed it from a two point lead to three. Time call here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. They're trailing by three. 15 seconds left to play in the final four. Here's Giddy. This is to Holmgren. Driving to the basket. Yes! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. First person the foul. 15 foul. At the line for the Kings. Kevin Herter. Two shots. is the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. Already impressing at a young age, Kevin Herter's dead-eye accuracy from deep, combined with being a fearless competitor going inside. It's going to pay some dividends throughout his career. Now here's Giddy. Shoots over Fox. Good! A huge shot to tie it up. And that's just showing off right there, guys. I mean, he is too good with that crossover. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. And regulation now complete. We will go to overtime. And for 2K Sports, we'll be back here at Paycom Center right after this. to have you with us as we get going in overtime. Neither team giving an inch in this one. Dort and Williams up in the forward position. Then it's Chet Holmgren. Then it's Josh Giddy. And it's Joe in at the two. Now here's Murray. Herter kicks to Barnes. Good on the triple. Harrison Barnes. Barnes has got the first points here in the overtime period for the Kings. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Holmgren against Sabonis. Here's Holmgren. 
Down to five on the shot clock. The kick out to Williams. From the arc. That shot missing. Murray with the defensive effort. Kings leading now by three. Barnes dishes to Fox. Fox is double. And there's the call on Lou George. And that'll be his third foul so far. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. And guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big time rejection. in this one. We're about one minute into overtime. Barnes passes to Sabonis. Shot clock at six. Murray sets a screen for Herder. And another three Herder, for Sacramento. Herder, Herder. We talk about some expanded range. Herder's got some himself. And here is Williams. The pass to Joe. George wide open. A three-pointer off the mark. Man, you get so caught up in the bravado of someone scoring on you and you wanting to even the score. Unfortunately, he couldn't answer Kevin back. Herter. And Herter gets it to go. Known for being a scorer, Herter is good at staying active and then looking to capitalize inside. And that one drops. And, and it won't find many more games as entertaining as this one. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. Now here's Herter. Fox is double. Back to Herter. Fox against Giddy. And here's Barnes for three. Good. And a nice assist from Fox. Barnes has got the lead up to nine now for the key. Fox against Giddy. Time if you just joined us, two and a half minutes through it. Yep, it counts. And Giddy, one of those guys who really can stuff the stat sheet. Fox against Giddy. Outside Fox. And what the ball with his palm. What a defensive play. Fox against Giddy. Williams, a screen on Fox. Here's Giddy. It's hauled in by the two Kings. Two minutes remaining in overtime. Two minutes. Barnes looking around. Fox finds her. Another three for Sacramento. Yeah, you don't often talk about his numbers, but Herder is a very elite three-point shooter. Inside. Sabonis with the steal. Boats one up, and Fox gets it to go. And it's a 12-point Kings lead. When a player gets a feel for that floater, it can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard him and where your point of commitment is. And Fox is the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Giddy at his size can get to the inside and make some things happen, that time drawing a foul. At the line for two, Josh Giddy. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. We're now over three and a half minutes through this overtime period. Outside, Sabonis. The dish to Fox. Barnes outside. Oh, good on the triple. I'm not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. Well, this is a gravity game right now. Whatever he throws up must come down. He's having a great game. They can take their time on this possession. It wouldn't be a bad idea to just give themselves a little bit of a break. Here, 
Here's Fox. Sabonis. No one near Herder as he lets it fly. Kevin Herder. Good, and it's Sabonis with the assist that time. Time out for Oklahoma City. But the City. truth is, they've had control of this game. It looks like a veteran team tonight getting out on the road, playing with assertiveness, confidence, fully in control for this one. Giddy against Fox. Holmgren with a screen on Fox. Giddy, no good. They're in good position here to ride it out. Uh, certainly. If they just play smart, this game's over. There's Sabonis. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Third person. Now one on Holmgren. Second team foul. Shooting for Sacramento, Domatis Sabonis at the line for two. Two shots. And he makes the first. And Sabonis drops them both. Ooh, I think that's a wrap. And I can tell you, you can't have more pressure-packed free throws hey, yo, than the ones that are going to seal the game. Williams, a screen on Mitchell. Giddy kicks to Williams. And another assist. Williams. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Now Monk. So it's the Kings winning this one easily. That's the he end is of the game. With a victory, although they needed an extra period to get well, it done. Yeah, like but what a great game. Your team. Both Please teams, I felt like, we gave it their all. The but when event. it came to OT, it, it was just all about sheer determination on their part. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. So for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, Brent Berry, and the whole 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us as New Balance presents our player of the game, De'Aaron Fox.